What's up guys, it's The Honest Outlaw here, and today we've got a pretty cool gun for you. Today, we have the Beretta M9A4. Now, those of you that are familiar with the channel, have watched the channel before, know that I'm a big fan of the previous iteration, the M9A3. Uh, both are uh, variants of the M9 or 92 from Beretta, which have been in service now in the US military and lots of other militaries uh, since the early 80s, something like 1985, I think they went in service. So they've been around for quite a while and they've had many iterations over the years and they've had many changes and added features that make them keep up with guns of today. And the M9A4 is the latest and greatest of that lineage. So the M9A4 has a lot of accessories over the M9A3, and the M9A3 has a lot of accessories over the standard M9. Uh, so we'll cover those a little bit in this video. We'll do some first shots, and then hopefully later down the road, we'll do a thousand round review. Uh, the M9A4 is a double single action pistol in a bunch of different colors of tan. <laughs> I like uh, the, the scheme of the gun. I like the scheme of the previous gun as well. Uh, similar to a SCAR-16, SCAR-17, the whole 50 shades of FDE. I think it looks really cool. Uh, people, Some people call it peanut butter, some people call it baby shit, some people call it dog puke. Whatever it is, I think it looks really good. Uh, double single action gun with a full five inch barrel, full size gun with an 18 round magazine. It comes with two of those, no, it comes with three of those. Three of those, sorry. Three 18 rounders, which is pretty good capacity. Uh, the double single action, if you're unfamiliar with it, you carry it uh, on double action only, just like this. Your first pull of the trigger is gonna be that long double action trigger pull. Then when the round, or when the slide cycles, you're gonna have that crisp, clean, uh, short reset trigger system, and you're gonna have very fast follow-up shots. The benefit of that system is that you can carry it double action, so it's a lot more uh, safe to carry, especially appendix, stuff like that, when you're pointing at the old junk. And then uh, even if you have time, you can always switch it to single action and then run uh, that crisp trigger pull all the time. So the benefits are the first, the first shot's gonna be safe, although not too safe, right? So it's like having a safety, but not, because it's like having a safety, you could pull the trigger right through anyway. And with enough practice, you can shoot uh, double action very well. Side benefit of that is that if you're dry firing at your house, you don't have to have any kit, you can just double action pull over and over again, and that will make you a better shooter. Uh, the added benefit again, is that you have that single action trigger pull that's better than a striker fired gun when you want it. Open top design on the Beretta M9 or 92, which is a little controversial, and it does have some issues with what we're about to talk about. Before we get there, let's talk about the threaded barrel. I like the threaded barrel on the M9 series because it is not a browning tilting barrel design, which is why the M9A3 was my standard suppressor slash light testing gun, because we could run suppressors on it really well, reliably, with no issues whatsoever. I imagine the M94 or the M9A4 will be the exact same. Now, if you look at the difference in color, there is a little bit of difference in color and maybe a difference in coating as well, although I don't know if there is. But I know that uh, it does have front slide serrations, whereas this one does and I like that a lot because this one comes optics ready. So if you put an optic on here, uh, because you're missing a lot of the uh, slide there, you're gonna have a lot less real estate to run the gun. Add the decocker, uh, this is actually a G model, but it comes in safety or decocker model, whichever one you want, and then you have even less space. So imagine an optic up here, and you're trying to get here and run the slide without touching the optic and bumping it off zero, or accidentally decocking the gun or putting it on safety, you really run out of real estate back here super quick, especially if the gun's hot and you don't wanna touch the barrel. Now you have to do either one of these, or you have to use the front high power cuts, or if you're wearing gloves or if the gun's not too hot, you can come across here and do that. So these. Uh, uh, front slide serrations are very functional in my opinion. Another upgrade to the M9A4 is going to be the trigger system. It's got a short reset trigger system in it, uh, which allows the reset to be a lot faster. We'll show that here, hopefully, with my left hand. Well, we're not gonna show you with my left hand because that's dumb. So we'll pull here, and the reset is very fast. I like that a lot. And we'll show it on the M9A4 here, or M9A3 here. See, right there, I accidentally put it on safety. I always talk about that. People say it don't happen, but it just happened. So I like the decocker only feature because you're, you can't do that. So pull the double action, show you that, and then that reset is significantly longer. So the trigger is certainly improved on the M9A4. Another improvement they've done, added a little extra texture on the front, but mainly it's these Vertec grips here. So these Vertec grips, they come in a slimline version uh, with a lot more texture than the, the previous versions do. So you can, really, uh, you can really buckle down in hand there and get those shots off really quickly. So the added texture, the added trigger is gonna make for a faster shooting gun. Uh, well, at least it does with every other gun, but we'll try that out today. But I actually have the standard grip on there. It comes with two different grips, the thin like 1911 size grip and the thicker standard Beretta grip, which I actually do prefer. 
prefer. Both of them have the Vertec uh, texture on them, so I think that's a value added with the gun. Now the G model is also value added, which is nice. And you can decock the gun without having it be on safety and you can still run it. Con of the gun right off the bat. These are new and Beretta is an Italian company and they have been unable to put plates out into the wild yet. This gun did not come with an optic plate. So when Beretta says it's optics ready, me personally, for it to be optics ready, you need to be able to put an optic on it out of the box, right? So even though this has the ability to mount plates, it is not optics ready because there is no plate to put it on. So there are dovetail options for the previous M9s, but this is the first option where you're gonna have a stone cold, reliable optics mounting system. So I like where they're going with this, and I assume in a couple of months these will be extremely available. But as of filming this video, I got this gun a little less than a week ago. The plates are still not available, so we said fuck it, and we're just gonna shoot this video without the plate system, without the optic, and we'll put it on for the thousand round review. Uh, I, I don't know how long it's gonna be to get. Right now they're only available in Europe, and I couldn't find any on Beretta's website or any other so if you know of a spot uh, let me know uh, but for now we're gonna shoot this iron sights now the iron sights on the gun tritium iron sights right out of the box pretty dope a uh, little bit higher than standard iron sights I imagine that's to help out with either the running off your belt or big toe and or helping out with the co-witness although it does look pretty low still and I doubt you'll be able to co-witness this all right and uh, the final thing that I wanted to talk about a little bit here is that the uh, sh uh, the weak sided safety appears to be a different iteration so I didn't hear this talked about on the website, but as you can see here, this one on the M9A4 sticks out a little bit further, so much so that I literally thought it was broken when we first tried it. Uh, however, that's just the way it is. I don't know if that's like that because it's the G model or it's like that because it's an M9A4 edition. Not really sure. Uh, that being said, uh, so far all the features seem to be more than welcome. Uh, especially if that optics plate were to ship with the gun, you'd have really something here. And I assume it will uh, later in the year. That being said, I can't wait to go down and shoot it. So let's find out. Before we do that, I want to mention my patron supporters. Thank you guys very much. We bought this gun with the patron dollars. We try to buy as many guns as we can. We really appreciate you guys helping us out. Keeps us completely non-biased, and I love that. If you want to help the channel, all you got to do is find the link in the description and sign up for Patreon. We also have exclusive content and all that cool stuff over on the Patreon page. Also, there's a link in the description for a local homeless shelter in Ames, Iowa. So YSS, do me a favor, go down and donate a couple bucks to those kids. They could use your help. Okay. All right, so this would have been a little easier with the optic, but we're gonna try the iron sights today, and we're gonna start this review out at 80 yards. All right, so we could even hit some of those little ones. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you shoot is that it is a little bit left. Uh, we noticed it when we were inside and yesterday that the uh, rear sight is drifted a little bit. Uh, there's more space over here than there is over here. And I was aiming to the right side of the target at 80 yards and I was hitting every single one. If I aim at the middle of the target, I don't. So uh, just keep in mind, you're gonna have to shoot. You're gonna have to aim a little right. Bill drill at 80 yards. Look at you. Right. So now we got it at 50 yards here, running at single action. Forgot to aim a little right there. better at 80 I couldn't hit those small ones from here hmm. Shooting a little too fast I like to pick up the pace as we get forward and I get oh shit I've already shot I shot all the mags already 
You're having too much fun now. I am, yeah. Now we'll test the Beretta CQB slash home defense capabilities, and I think that's already kind of been proven, but let's have some fun anyway. I think that new trigger's faster. Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta have some mags in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. focus yeah well it's a quick gun wants to go fast this in my opinion for sure uh triggers trigger by itself is an improvement upon the original that trigger kicks ass we're on like donkey kong Like this, yeah, I bet you will. A little bit, I'm having a lot of fun right now. We well, like the last one. Can I walk? Go. No, you can do whatever you want. You All can right. move around. I'll follow that sexy butt. Nah. Problem with walking is you expose my mediocre camera skills. That's okay. They all know. <laughs> What'd you think? I feel like I was doing pretty good, but I did hit myself in the head with the one that popped out. Um, so that was funny. Hopefully you That's saw what that. She said. All right. So after action report, the Beretta M9 A4 is at least as good as the M9 A3. Is it better? I would argue yes. Is it good enough to buy though? I'm a little on the fence. I mean, I like it a lot. I wish it would have came with the optics mounting system. Now there are optics mounting systems available like this one here that dovetails into the rear sight portion, but you are gonna lose your rear sight and it is not as durable and reliable as the mount that the Beretta has, although you can get these right now from Trigicon's website. So that is an advantage over one that is better, but you can't get. The trigger is significantly better. I like, it's not better as far as pull weight, like accuracy wise, but it is faster. And I would take that because you can get used to pull weight. You can't change the distance that it resets most of the time. So I like the trigger better. That is a serious upgrade and that makes it worth it to me. Is it worth it to you? I don't know. Vertec grip is also really nice. However, these are probably available for the M9A3 now as well. Uh, safety decocker worked really well. The new serrations are nice as well. All of those added together, I think make it worth Certainly the price of around $1,000. If you were to take a standard Beretta 92X, uh, let's say, which is kind of the uh, first iteration of this, uh, and you take that and you get these accessories, you buy the grip, you do a trigger job, you get some serrations, you get it recoded, you're gonna pay more than what this gun is. So is it, is it value? I think it is. Uh, if you like the M9 series, this is a phenomenal gun and maybe the best current, or at least my favorite version of it that we've came out yet. There's some with better triggers, the 92X Performance uh, Competition or whatever the hell it is, but that also is an all steel frame where this is aluminum. This only weighs 33 ounces as opposed to that, which I believe is something like 52. Uh, so this is more of a capable gun in my opinion for all around you. Still could be used for competition, maybe not quite as good, but it would be significantly better for home defense, concealed carry, all that stuff, because it is lightweight and you could easily carry this. Trust me, people have been doing it for decades. The gun was extremely reliable, it was extremely accurate. The sights were a little bit off out of the box, but easy to fix with a little bit of tap tap of the hammer. So overall, pretty excited with it, and I am uh, very excited to do a thousand round review. Should be out within a month or so, so stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, and hopefully check that video out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, help your please help fucking do something. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.